Hi there and welcome. My name is Amy Hansen and I'm here to tell you how to get the best out of your New Year's resolutions. First, we're going to speak about a theory that has been used to predict people's intentions to engage in a behaviour. This theory of planned behaviour has three constructs and I'm going to take you through each of those constructs briefly. Hopefully you'll be able to identify areas in which you can target to increase the likelihood of completing your New Year's resolutions. Let's take a look at the theory as a whole concept. As you can see, there are three constructs on the left hand side. These are often referred to as behavioural beliefs. These behavioural beliefs, attitudes, subjective norms and perceived behavioural control can influence your intentions to engage in a behaviour. Let's break these down further using exercise as an example. Attitudes are your evaluations of engaging in a behaviour. These can be advantages such as, I will get fitter and stronger. I will improve my health or disadvantages. Exercising will take up too much time. I'm always tired after work and I won't feel like exercising. Now let's look at subjective norms. Subjective norms is perceived pressure from significant others to engage in or avoid certain behaviours. This perceived pressure could be disapproval such as My partner doesn't want me to go to the gym as it will mean I will get home later. My work colleagues think that going to the gym will be a waste of time. All these, All can, these be can be approval, approval such, as, such as my friends, my friends always, always invite, invite me to go, me to, go to, to the gym, to the gym, with, gym with them. It must it be, must really, be fun. really fun. Finally, let's talk about perceived behavioural control. Perceived behavioural control is your perceived ability to engage in a behaviour. These beliefs may be positive, such as I have lost weight in the past and it was easy for me. I know how to eat healthy, I just need to do it. The more confidence you have in your ability to perform a behaviour can influence your decision to directly engage in the behaviour without the intentional phase. On the other hand, perceived behavioural control cognitions can be negative such as, I have never lost weight and I probably can't this time either. Research suggests that you do not need all three constructs to align in order to have an intention, but it does help to strengthen it. Therefore, by identifying how you can align your beliefs about engaging in your New Year's resolutions may be beneficial. Overall, this may strengthen your intention to engage in the behaviour for longer.